On Thursday, the 26th of December, Boxing Day, we welcome both the new moon and a whole host of astrological influences that come with it. The strongest and most important aspect in play here being the sun conjunct the moon. The new moon on Thursday, the 26th of December, 2019, at four degrees Capricorn, among other things, is also an annular solar eclipse. Those born under the signs of Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini and Sagittarius will be particularly affected by this partial solar eclipse, especially in the financial sector. The December 26th solar eclipse at 4 degrees Capricorn is also conjunct Jupiter, meaning this is going to be a positive solar eclipse because Jupiter is associated with growth, expansion, prosperity and good fortune, with opportunities for personal, professional and spiritual growth. A good aspect to Uranus also adds to possibilities and excitement. The new moon is a partial solar eclipse, so its effects will last around six months instead of the usual two to four weeks. The actual eclipse itself, however, will last for a mere three minutes and 40 seconds. And this time, the 125 mile wide eclipse shadow will be visible in the Middle East, Southern India, Southeast Asia, and some parts of Australia. In this type of partial eclipse, the apparent diameter of the moon is smaller than the sun's, leaving a ring of light around the eclipsed sun. Eclipses magnify things and often bring undeniable changes or events into our lives. They can also signify pivotal turning points that help to guide us in the right direction. Eclipses put us where we need to be, but sometimes before we truly realise or recognise that for ourselves. This can be scary or even challenging, but eclipses do remind us that there is a higher plan and a higher reason for the events that unfold in our lives. Astrologically, the sun reflects our core will and essence. It reveals the qualities that we manifest as we mature and the path that we must walk to step into an independent, unique expression of our being. The moon, on the other hand, is our instinctive and feeling self. Because the light of the sun, expressed as will, is blocked by the physicality of the moon, expressed by instinct, the shape of our lives at a solar eclipse often reveals the consequences of past actions and reactions. Events associated with solar eclipses can be shocking by nature and wholly unexpected. Just when we thought our life was taking us in one direction, we are suddenly turned to face a new one and then must forge this new path ahead. People do tend to overreact to eclipses, fearing the worst from them. Traditional and modern teachings point to natural disasters within a few months before or after the eclipse in the populated region where the eclipse was visible. On December the 26th, 2004, at 7.59am, during a full moon in Cancer, which relates to the safety of the home, a 9.1 magnitude earthquake ripped through an undersea vault in the Indian Ocean, propelling a massive tsunami that killed 230,000 people in a matter of hours. But there was no eclipse during this phase. An eclipse doesn't specify a natural disaster. Countries experience natural disasters that often have nothing to do with eclipses. And this eclipse features a Sun-Moon-Jupiter conjunction, with Mars in Scorpio, Sextile, Saturn and Pluto. This could be the most happy and productive eclipse that we've seen in a very long time. Capricorn season also urges us to clarify our goals and come up with plans. This is a new moon and a solar eclipse that falls into Capricorn, fueling slow, steady shakeups. It's part of a series of Cancer versus Capricorn eclipses that began on July the 12th, 2018, and last through to July the 4th, 2020. During this phase, perhaps our emotions will be more intense and extreme than typical, but maybe it's rather that you have simply increased your awareness of your emotions in general. The sun and moon's more difficult phases can describe the relationship between body and brain during times of stress. 
Suddenly feeling more sleepy or noticing more bodily pains can be typical manifestations. With Capricorn involved, you may need to take more time to gain greater insight. You might notice a development that has its roots in the past, and now you comprehend it in greater depth and clarity through hindsight. For some of us, the task will require making a link much further back, perhaps even to a stage of childhood or involvement with our parents when certain events laid a foundation for the type of reaction that we are experiencing now. There may also very well be a sense of arrival. After a long and tumultuous year, the energies of this new moon solar eclipse will bring us to a new and better place that we have been working towards for months, possibly even years. An interesting paradox does exist with every solar eclipse, however. Typically, a solar eclipse is a time of new beginnings and new opportunities. They foretell a time of high energy and often profound experiences, but they occur at a new moon, which is a time of retreat, low energy, introspection and inner illumination. Like the obscured light of the sun, our capacity to take effective action may seem blocked at the time of the solar eclipse. There really is no reason to fear, though, with Jupiter moving into Capricorn early this month, solutions to any hardships or worries are right around the corner. Your efforts are about to pay off and in a big way, and divine guidance is about to be on our side. The end of this decade will bring a most fresh and bright new start to close any old chapters and to start anew. There will be a sense of better functioning order to your life that will become more stable and more solid. Even if things still feel unknown, simply trust and keep putting one foot in front of the other. While everyone will be affected differently, of course, here are some general themes that we can expect for this phase. A focus on balancing our practical earthy side. A need to create more of a work-life balance. Old family dynamics or wounds may resurface. Issues with our parents may be a theme. We may need to heal a relationship specifically with male family members. We may receive a strong push in our careers, and a focus on money, power, government and banking is also likely. We may feel a desire to get more grounded and take more responsibility for the direction of our lives. We may be guided to learn how to balance our emotions in healthier ways. Big changes in our lives tend to occur around eclipses, and although they happen several times a year, the energy of an eclipse can linger for months and often trigger the themes and the lessons of our soul journey.